Do yeah. the cast give you a hard time about this? No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you yes. come up? She's fierce and powerful, but she can also be very clumsy. As cool as she looks on screen, Elizabeth Olsen was often experiencing total embarrassment on set for everything from her costumes to awkward slip-ups to accidents while filming. We've got the scoop on all the times the Scarlet Witch lost her cool. Number 1. Sets can be a serious workplace hazard. Elizabeth Olsen was in a surprising amount of danger for someone who was just walking, although it was pretty intense walking. I fell on my knee so hard because <laughs> I was trying to walk down like rubble aggressively. Part of the issue was that you can't look at the ground when you're trying to be scary. Being unable to see with such unstable ground beneath her was tough enough. Throw in all her Scarlet Witch angst and fury and you've got a bit of a clumsy Avenger on set. Olsen was left seriously hurting by the end of the shoot, both knees covered in bruises. Number 2. Rewind, play, rewind, play. We could watch this all day long. Next up, we've got one of the best scenes in Marvel history, the epic women of Marvel in action. However, Olsen wound up getting a lot more attention than she'd bargained for, and definitely more than she'd hoped for in this instance. It was another clumsy moment for the Scarlet Witch, and this one involved another person. I landed in the scene on wires, and I lost my balance and I fell backwards and got totally slammed in the back of the head by the stump person who was running. Luckily, Olsen wasn't seriously injured, and as unfortunate as the incident was, the scene captured on film was a hilarious one, and the messy moment was watched back by the cast and crew over and over and over again. Not only that, they went full slow motion with it to really get the best effect. Number 3. Who knew kisses could lead to so much anger? Paul Bettany and Elizabeth Olsen are a match made in heaven. Paul and I have worked with each other for now six years and have never been in a legitimate argument. It wasn't until Snotgate that the two really clashed. It wasn't a cute situation, but it certainly didn't feel like something to get so upset over. While he was painted purple and kissing me, his snot had dripped onto my face. and. He got so genuinely angry and defensive. <laughs> Olsen was shocked and completely embarrassed on set, feeling very uncomfortable at the fact that her co-star was truly angry with her, especially over something seemingly so small. We got over it quickly, but it was definitely an, a, weird, a weird moment. Fortunately, these two still have nothing but love for each other. Number 4. CGI magic really makes a difference when it comes to the Scarlet Witch's powers. There are few images in the MCU as powerful as Wanda Maximoff's intense explosions of magic. But behind the scenes, she doesn't exactly look so epic. She's at a rave the whole movie. Yeah. <laughs> While it looks abstract being captured on camera and left Olsen self-conscious at her wild actions, there is indeed a method to her madness. We start off with like a center energy kind of thing. Oh, Olsen actually had a choreographer build Wanda's physical language with her, giving her the ability to really tell a story through movement without any CGI magic present. And you want to move it around. But without the added VFX, yeah, it does look kind of hilarious. Number 5. How far is too far exactly? Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany found out the hard way. The actors were pushing the limits of how far they'd lean into the comedy, with a lot of support from their director Matt Shackman in the pursuit. Considering how wacky they got, the actors figured they'd never end up going too far. That is, until Olsen crossed a line. There are moments where I'm, I'm dealing with coats and I did like a triple take instead of a double take. Shackman's take? He wasn't into it. He was like, let's stick to the double take. The triple take was too much. They had made it to filming the third episode before getting shut down, which was impressive, and Olsen took it in stride. I felt like it was a badge of honor to finally get my, um, that's too much. Number six, it's Wanda, live in front of a studio audience. Just hearing that could get Olsen jittering with nerves, totally new to performing in this odd hybrid style. The actress has done theater before, but filming the old-fashioned way with cameras and eyes witnessing everything she was doing, it was a bit too overwhelming. I feel like I was really nervous before with the sitcom because it was our first time filming this show and it was in front of an audience. The pressure was immense and Olsen worried about what would happen if the audience didn't care for the show or if something went wrong while filming. We're just like filming our failure if, you know, if it were going to fail, it was going to fail in front of a bunch of people. Fortunately, WandaVision was any Anything but a failure. Number 7. It's classic, but it sure is different. 
Olsen is a total pro when it comes to filming work that will eventually have CGI done, but tackling the old-fashioned CG style was a very foreign experience. There were a lot more actual strings behind the scenes than there would normally be, and of course, an audience there to witness it all. Olsen handled an embarrassing moment incredibly well when she realized she had to stop performing mid-scene in front of an audience in order to let the practical effects team do their work. And then I changed. <laughs> The actress has never really had to explain what she was going to do next to everyone watching. Number 8. Sometimes it's the smallest things that can get us. We're throwing it way back to Captain America Civil War. The pressure is on when it comes to filming such a major motion picture, but Olsen was really struggling to keep a straight face long enough for the cameras to get everything they needed. I hear people laughing. Vision ducking out of the scene was just too funny for Olsen to handle. And to be fair, it does look pretty hilarious. We'd be giggling too. Number 9. She's gotta feel fierce to be fierce. In WandaVision, we get to see all sorts of variations on her costume, including the fabulous new Scarlet Witch suit. However, before that, the actress was always wearing her red corset. Olsen didn't mind the fact that it was a corset at all, but what did bother her was the fact that it revealed so much cleavage, something her fellow female Avengers didn't have to deal with. The actress has expressed her embarrassment around it, explaining, I'm the only one who has cleavage, and that's a constant joke because they haven't really evolved my superhero costume that much. Fortunately, the new Scarlet Witch suit gives her all the power and flair, and much better coverage. Number 10. Even the slightest smile can ruin a take. But Olsen's smirks weren't even that subtle at times. As we've seen before, Olsen has a tough time keeping a straight face around her co-star, in part because the two get along so well. Paul was trying to do his vision thing, but Olsen couldn't for the life of her keep it together, and wound up ruining take after take. Being the one responsible for having to refilm scenes so many times leads to some very embarrassing feelings on set. Number 11. Maybe it was a bit too close. Wanda and Vision were inseparable, so evidently Olsen and Bettany had to get very close with each other. And it was just a bit too awkward for Olsen to handle sometimes, which left the team with a whole lot of takes full of laughter. They may have had embarrassing times, but it didn't mean they weren't still plenty of fun. Number 12. Name a more iconic duo. Get Aaron Taylor Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen in a room together, and it's going to be a good time. Though it did lead to some embarrassing bloopers for Olsen. How oh, so bad! But the blooper footage? It's so good, and there is no denying that. Number 13. She managed to avoid it for quite a while. I think the sad thing is wearing that costume without any irony. When Olsen was first joining the MCU, Joss Whedon assured her one thing. You will never ever have to wear what she wears in the comics. And that remained true, that is, until WandaVision. The actress was embarrassed to have to don the suit she had explicitly been told she wouldn't have to worry about, but she was a good sport about it, especially because she didn't have to go through it alone. For Paul to be dressed in his, it was so fun. Number 14. Who knew a bat could even bend that way? <laughs> Whether or not Olsen was on wires, she somehow achieved freakishly wild postures, ones that bring on a whole lot of embarrassment when looking back at it. I guess I do that a lot, don't I? Number 15. Offset could be even more embarrassing than on. I was just looking at him like, you look so weird with your skin. Olsen has spent way more time with Vision Paul Bettany than she has with the real Paul Bettany. It was weirder to see him as Paul Bettany than it was to see him in purple. Seeing him in the flesh? Well, things got awkward. Anytime he like didn't have his makeup on, I like would get a little uncomfortable like I didn't know this man. It just goes to show that not everything is as it seems, and no matter how cool someone looks on screen, they have their fair share of awkward moments too. Which situation did you think was most embarrassing?